This is a book review of a new book which I just purchased a few weeks ago at the Oregon Sasquatch Symposium. The book is titled Ghosts of Ruby Ridge by Thomas D. Tom Cantrell. Now you may be wondering which Ruby Ridge? Is it the same Ruby Ridge that was involved in a uh, controversial happening back in the 90s? Yes. <clears throat> because um, one of the elements of the story is um, that one of the principal characters named Rod Jackson, who happens to be African American, runs afoul of some neo-Nazi skinheads. These uh, militia types. And um, the militia, the militia types are um, it's, it's pretty accurate information about them in here. I mean, this is obviously a fictional story. But Tom Cantrell, in the introduction, actually um, talks about some of the experiences he has had with the Sasquatch. And um, the principals are Rod Jackson and Ben Saltz. Now, they're longtime friends. They're both longtime friends um, in Idaho doing some hunting. Uh, one of them, Ben, actually shoots what, sh what he believes to be a bear in the forests. But um, when he goes up to examine it, it turns out to be a, 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 a female Sasquatch. And um, Ben is subsequently kidnapped by the, the patriarch of a, of a clan of Sasquatches and taken to uh, their shelter. Uh, there he actually uh, befriends a younger Sasquatch who he calls Littlefoot. Uh, eventually, he gives names to the um, to the male and female, the father and mother Sasquatches. The father he calls Juan, and the mother he calls uh, Sassy. And what happens is there's a there's a um, a search which is embarked upon by Rod and several others, including a, a, an animal tracker, an Indian animal tracker, um, where they attempt to find Ben. They attempt to find the place where he's been taken. Also, a, um, a, a university professor at the University of Idaho, a, a, a female, Redhead, is also involved in the story. There is a jailbreak of the, neo, of the leader of the neo-Nazi skinheads. Um, there are several twists and turns in this book. Um, eventually, Ben... Even though at first he is blamed by the, the, the father, the patriarch of the Sasquatch clan, for the death of his daughter, eventually they come to an accord. Eventually they um, become more friendly with each other. Um, ben is actually good friends with the, um, with the, with the, uh, the younger Sasquatch, Littlefoot. Plus... Um, there's a bit of a um, of a side story where um, where Rod is reunited with his wife Kelly, whom with whom he has a daughter. Uh, they have a daughter named Casey, and um, Kelly is um, Kelly was estranged from her husband for quite a while, but then they uh, <clears throat> she explains some situations. She explains that. Um, the only reason there was an estrangement to begin with was because of her of her family, and eventually um, Rod and Kelly do get back together. Uh, ben eventually, well, I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to give away too much. Suffice to say that uh, Ben finds love. Um, there are some unfortunate, uh, tragic elements near the end of the story, near the end of the book. Um, very, very sad. I was very moved by it. Um, and, uh, eventually Ben, well, I guess I said, I don't want to give away too much, but it's a really excellent book. I, I really recommend this. This is great Sasquatch fiction. Uh, Tom did, did a great job on this and I'm hoping to have him on HBM Crypto Corner next month for our author's month because I truly enjoyed this book. This is just a 
tremendous, tremendous uh, fictional book. It really is. I, I really enjoyed this. This is a terrific story. You can go to uh, the website ghostsofrubyridge.com to find in, for, to find out more information. You can also order the book from there. But uh, yeah, I do recommend getting this book. I say this is a five out of five stars. It's really it's a really compelling compelling story. Uh, it holds your attention from beginning to end. It'll make a heck of a movie. <laughs> it really would. It, this would make a heck of a movie. Um, yes, there are elements of the Nazi skinheads, the, 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 the Aryan nation. There are elements of that in here. There's no question about that. But don't let that scare you because... Um, I mean, because uh, Tom, the author, is not trying to say that he um, endorses them. He's not saying he endorses them. He doesn't. Trust me, he doesn't. But it's a really, really interesting story. It's a good book. Um, apparently the incidents with Sasquatch are all incidents reported to the author. Um, I really recommend this book. I really do. I do recommend purchasing it. It's just a tremendous, tremendous story. It really is. There's elements of humor. There's there's plenty of action, plenty of drama. Um, there's tragedy. It's just, I can't say enough good things about this book. It's great. I do recommend getting it. 